Christopher Nolan's one of my favorite storytellers. From his non-linear timeline to his character development and even how he shoots his films, this dude might go down as one of the goats. He has shot a handful of my favorite films from The Prestige, Interstellar, Inception, and even the Batman series. And his newest movie was just released yesterday. Tenet. Pierce and I have been talking about this movie for the past few months. We even made a spoof of it in one of his first vlogs we shot together. We've been so excited to watch this film when it came out, but the one downside is there are no movie theaters open in LA right now. We did a little research and the closest movie theater to us that's open is roughly 100 miles away. So Brock, Pearson, Saxon, David, and myself, we're gonna leave in about an hour. It's gonna take about two hours to get there. And then the movie's just over two hours long and then another two hours back to LA. So all in all, we'll probably get back to LA around 2, 3 a.m. But I'm excited. Tenet is supposed to be his best film yet. So I'll let you know what I think. And don't worry, I won't do any spoilers. Let's see how everyone else is feeling about this 200 mile round trip. Yo, there they are. What up, baby? How you doing? You guys ready? 200 That's miles cool. round trip. What yeah, are you I'm thinking? Born ready. You're born ready? Listen, I didn't plan this trip for no reason. It's because if movies are religion, then Christopher Nolan is the priest. He is the Pope. We got Steven Spielberg, we got Christopher Nolan. You know, we got a few people, so we gotta talk. We gotta get, we gotta get next to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It's a new religion. What are you thinking? I'm stoked, man. Christopher Nolan's one of my favorite directors, and you know, just to be taking a ride with the boys. We go, it's a good Friday to me. Mark, you excited for this? Two hour. I'm not going. You're not going? No. He's not going. Real piece of shit. Probably what's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna hit up like three girls. They're all gonna bail on me, and then I'm gonna watch a movie by myself in my bed and cry myself to sleep. And it'll be like, hey, you could watch a movie with us. Yeah, a great movie. Probably the movie that's gonna win all the Oscars this year, too. You ready for this movie, bro? I've been waiting for this movie since the day I was born. Since you were born? You knew, born. you knew it was coming out 2020. I knew. I, I was born, and I said, first words were tenant. Tenant. I'm ready to see this. It's time. Let's go. What's taking so long? Yo, Pierce, I thought you were excited. Why are you walking back in? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and he's not wearing a shirt. <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, but he has to wear the coat because that's a Christopher Nolan thing. Got it. Right, amen, brother. <laughs> Saxon, mm -hmm? you ready for this round trip of 200 miles to see a movie right now? I'm so ready. 200 miles? 200 miles total. 200 miles round trip. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know Christian. that. We probably won't get home till like 4 or no, 2 a.m.? 2 a.m. Huh. Good. 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 Great. Good. Exciting. Slowly convincing yourself. <laughs> yes, this is a good thing. Try to edit on this drive. That was a no-go. My head is pounding. But we got 50 miles left, so let's go. We made it two and a half hours and we are in San Diego. Also, Pearson kind of parked a little crooked. You a little Ooh. excited there or what? Tyler, I don't give a how I parked. <laughs> we made it. We made it. All that matters is we made it to Regal Cinemas. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Cut. Hey, mask up, boy. Oh, dude. Hey, we, hey, we out, we out here being safe. Become a hero. This is the first movie theater I've seen since COVID started. Regal Cinemas. I'm about to hit a fat soda, some candy, popcorn. <laughs> some popcorn, and watch the best movie of the year. You think this movie has any competition for any Oscars? Only against itself. So it's gonna win. <laughs> They're playing 42. RP, brother. V6 tickets for us. Yep. Theater one, IMAX, ten is gonna be over here on the left hand side. Very first one on the left corner. <laughs> doom, doom. We gotta socially distance. Yo, if you live in LA, you've seen this poster all over LA for the past year. And honestly, it's my favorite billboard I've ever seen in my life because they left it up with the same date this entire time. A quiet place. To be honest, I'm pretty excited to see that movie. All right, guys, what is your go-to movie snack? Popcorn and M&Ms. Popcorn yeah. and M&Ms. Popcorn and M&Ms? No, no, no. Listen, I'm a Twizzlers man myself. And if you take the popcorn and the M&Ms or the raisinets and you pour them inside, or the milk does. It has to be chocolate covered, whatever it is, in the popcorn. It has to be warm though, so it melts a little bit onto it. It's a little complicated. <laughs> go to movie snack. I'm all about the popcorn and the slushy. Sweet popcorn, it has to be sweet. What about you, Brock? What's your go-to movie go -to. snack? All right, so I do a uh, sugar-free Sprite. Sugar-free Sprite. I do that, yeah, that's my go-to. And then I get, I have to have one chocolate 
and then one uh, sweet, like a, so I got to do a bunch of crunch, and then watermelon, uh, sour patch. I don't know why I'm, I'm I mean, I'm talking to you. Yeah, no, you, you, well, yeah, yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. And then some nachos. Damn, you, you, hey, you go in. I go around the horn. Hey, hey, flavors, in, in my opinion. And then probably some, uh, some ice cream as well, you know. Got it, those dipping dots. In my opinion, your order is 10 times better than Pearson's. Uh, in my opinion, he's varsity and I'm already playing pro. Hey, <laughs> calling you out, Pearson. Step your game up, bro. Step your game. My go to is I'm going to get a fat Coca Cola, which I'm disappointed because this is a Pepsi theater. Look at this. And then I'm going to get my Lifesaver gummies right here. <laughs> Got to hit the lifesaver gummies. Still uh, hurting my soul a little bit. I'm not gonna have a Coca-Cola. <laughs> and then I can't even get my Sprite. I mean, oh, you got to see our miss, dude. And it's not even, not even sugar-free, man. You still gotta get it. It's not even Sprite Zero, dude. Sprite Zero? They got Pepsi sugar-free, I think. I'm not drinking that. Ugh. All right, Twix or Snickers? Twix, Snickers for sure. Snickers. All right, I'm getting Snickers. You're lost. Getting Snickers. Other than the fact that I'm. Extremely excited for this movie. It's kind of weird being around people. This is the movie, guys. You excited? Dude, I am Jack to the tits. To the tits. That might have been the most insane movie I've ever seen in my life. Straight nonstop action the entire time. Brock thought it was the trailer to Batman at the beginning. I wanted to put you on your toes, bro. Bro, I was shook when it wasn't. <laughs> When it, that wasn't Made Batman, that I was like, oh! Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't think it was a trailer for <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Dude, god. That movie was insane. It was nuts! That was insane. Oh my god! Mind blown. 10 Mind out of 10, you must watch it. I don't even, I can't. Jackson. Hi. What are your thoughts on that movie? I'm still trying to process it. It was really <laughs> good, but like... It was so much. It was just like... Lots of timelines happening at the same time. A lot. Yeah, but I liked it. It was good. Yeah, it was great. Did you like it? Oh, I loved it. All right. Instead of rating the movie, yeah, rate Robert Pattinson's performance. Listen, he's gonna be a ten out of ten Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I already gave him a ten out of ten. For he's Patty. so good. The trailer does not give Ro Robert Pattinson enough credit. He did really good. No, like right. no joke. No spoilers, but he killed it. It's three ten in the morning right now, and. Honestly, the decision to drive over 200 miles round trip to see Tenet was probably one of the best decisions I've made in a long time. I really enjoyed going into the theater with friends and just enjoying a good movie. And especially a good Christopher Nolan movie. In three, two, one.